I've never done a cooking show before because, well, most of the time I don't cook. But today, I'm going to show you how I make my world famous, what is it, eggplant parmesan. That's it. First, you buy some eggplants, which I already did. And then you peel them, which I'm going to do right now. You see that? It's a peeler. Since I do all my own videos, it's hard for me to show you what I'm peeling. So, trust me, I'm going to peel it. And then I'm going to do something else with it. And you just have to wait and see what I do with it. Then. You take two eggplants, you peel them, which I just did, and then you cut them in slices, which I'm going to do. And you probably won't see me do that. But then I'm going to take over there in that plate, put an egg in it with some cornmeal. Lice is coming in. You want a me. bowl for that. No, I don't. I want a plate. Oh. Don't, argue. don't argue with me. What a mess. It's my cookie. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do next. So pay attention. Take notes if you'd like. Smile. Oh, slice the eggplants into, you know, good size hunks. Kind of about like that. And then, away you go. Turn it off. So, now I've cut all these up. I used a knife. I mean, this is a bread knife, but actually it works pretty good. So you kind of cut it up. I've got that heating up, the oil heating up. Then I use, uh, for you, those of you taking notes, Wesson oil, vegetable oil. And uh, now I'm going to prepare the plate and put some egg and some Martha White, my favorite brand, um, cornmeal. So let me show you how I that's forgot. Good. You actually need another plate. And that plate, we're going to put the cornmeal in. We've got the egg in there. We've got the cornmeal in here. And then we're going to take the eggplant and dip it in the egg. And then dip it in the cornmeal. And then put it in the pan that's frying and it's not not quite on and up yet. I've got a little piece in there and I'm waiting for it to kind of warm up and get bubbling or something. Cook. Whatever. So that's what we're doing now. So when I take the eggplant out of the burning oil, I put it over here and put it on some paper towels. And so when they're on paper towels it absorbs some of the grease. Ooh, look, it's starting to bubble. That means it's getting ready to cook. So let's get ready. There you go. Alright, take your eggplant, put it in the egg, drop it around, you know, so you get it wet. Then you take your cornmeal, Martha White, we're looking for them as a sponsor, that's why I'm plugging them. And you put it in there, roll it, then you throw it in your grease, just like that. And repeat, repeat, repeat. So now when you're cooking this stuff up, just kind of wait till it's kind of crispy. And the old famous, everybody knows when it's done. It doesn't have to be totally done, because remember, you're going to be putting it no. in the oven. Ooh, now that they're nice and golden brown and kind of cooked through, you pick them out of there with a, a spatula and you put them on, it's very important, you put them on some paper towels to dry them off. Otherwise, they get all soggy in the air. So that's what I'm going to do now. Want to watch? Nah. Okay, I'll stack some up. Once you got them on here, just take a little pinch off. Take a taste. Oh, hot. But done. And good. Mmm, mmm. Good eat. Let them cool down, put on another batch, start all over again. So, what have I used so far? I've used three eggs, and there's one still in there. I've used Martha White, yellow cornmeal. I'm going to use some mozzarella cheese to put in there on top and then uh, I've used some Wesson oil I've used the stove to cook and I used a couple plates and a spatula and waiting for the stuff to get ready and when it's all cooked then we put it all together I'll show you how that's done a little bit later mmm that actually smells pretty good okay we've got it all fried up and it's all dried out and now you go get some Pyrex bowls or you can use metal ones, it doesn't matter because all you're going to do is put it in there and then dump the stuff on top of it so let's start loading them up the way I do it is I load one layer in like this and then put some cheese on top of it so now we're going to use shredded cheese instead of big chunks of cheese because Liza bought the shredded cheese because it was on sale so 
We're going to use this because that's how we cook, because we cook with whatever we got, right? Right? Right. So, spread some cheese over the top of it, kind of cover it more, up. More, more. Nah, that's all right. Then you have your prego. I just, any kind of cheap sauce just is fine, so, because it's going to be wonderful. So you put that on top of it. So I'll put that on top of it to show you. Actually, I forgot. I load it all up first, make my layers, and then I put the prego on top of it. So uh, it's a little bit out of order. So uh, you guys will figure it out. That worked just as well the other way, but I like it better the other way. So I'm going to load the whole thing up and then pour the prego on top of it. I think. So we have another layer of eggplant, and then we're going to put some more cheese on top of that. So layer two of cheese, layer two of eggplant. Layer three of eggplant. Don't worry if it doesn't come out right. Just kind of, you know, stack it up so it's sort of even because we're going to bake this. So I used about a half a bag of this cheese and looks like it's 32 ounces. So cipher that up. Half of that is, mm, let me think, 16. So we got about a pound of cheese on this. So, mm, it looks pretty good. Now we're ready for the sauce. Mm, mm. So now we're ready to put the prego on top and then we put it in the oven. And if you've been watching the clock, on the stove, probably noticed that I started around eh, 545, something like that. So it's been about an hour in here. But while this is cooking, I also had dinner too. So had spaghetti and meatballs, quite nice. But while I was preparing this, so meh. But we're gonna eat off of this probably for the next week. So to make it easy, I just put a whole bottle of this 45 ounce prego on top of there. So we got basically a pound of cheese. Uh, we got uh, two eggplants, and uh, we got uh, a bottle of Prego, and we all put it all together, and it's going to come out wonderful. So Liza's putting the oven to 350 because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Never said I was to cook. So anyway, she's doing that and fussing in the background. The uh, put a little There's grease cheese on all top over of the it. kitchen. It's all and, over. Hey, I'm a guy. What am I going to say? So it's ready to go, and I gotta put it in the oven, put a little garnish on the top, and it's ready to rock and roll. So you cook it at 350 for 20 minutes, and then you can freeze it, put it in the refrigerator, be ready to go for the rest of the week. Mmm, mmm, good eating. Ugh, look at this. Well, it does make a mess, but hey, I don't clean up the kitchen. <laughs> so it's in the oven, and we're gonna wait uh, about 20 minutes. And take it out, and it'll be done. Mm -mm. Can you smell it? Well, not yet, but you will a little bit. So now if you're wondering what it looks like when it's all done, mm, Liza's going to pull it out, and there it is. Ooh, something's mm -hmm. missing. Mm -hmm. Where's the big one? Oh, that was my snack. <laughs> it, it's already been sampled once, so it must be pretty good. But here it is. Eggplant Parmesan. It's kind of crusty. Should be. Mm -hmm. Looks good.